Yeah, well, I was in Melbourne yesterday, so uh, I, I found out over the phone, oh, the guys work so hard to, to get back to play. Um, you know, he's been in full training now for six or seven weeks. Um, I wasn't here yesterday, but the boys told me it was a really, you wouldn't even know that it happened, but it, it did. And it's not a full rupture, it's a partial rupture. I don't really know what that means in terms of uh, recovery, but, uh, you know, he's made himself a really popular member of our team since his arrival. He's a real leader. Uh, we're, we're looking forward to having him in our team. Um, unfortunately, that's not going to be the case this year, but that's that's the reality of football. I mean, we've we've lived that now for the last... I worked it out last night. The last 10 rounds of footy we've played, we've lost three blokes with ACLs. Um, that's a, I've never seen a strike rate like that. I hope it stops. Um, but you just this is the game. You know, you've got to deal with it, and we will. How's, how's Tom? Have you spoken to him? Is it okay? Yeah, I had a good conversation with him last night. I mean, he's been... Him, him and his family have been through a few things in their lives. And, uh, you know, he... Um, he was pretty stoic, and uh, he just wanted to, you know, send the message to the boys that he, because he hasn't played in the AFL team yet, he's not yet part of the team, so we shouldn't miss him in a way, uh, which was a really nice thing for him to say. But um, yeah, that's that's how he how he's at. So he's off today to go and see see a surgeon and see what's what are the next steps for him. What about the impact on the the rest of the team? I know you said you've had a bit of experience with it, unfortunately. But how does how does the rest of the team take news like that? I'm sure they would have been. Yeah, no, they yeah they looked forward to having him in the team, and he was going to be selected this week. If that if if uh, that hadn't happened yesterday, um, oh, we had a, we just had a bit of a chat about that. Now uh, everyone's got that in a good place. You know, we all feel for our teammates and the players, so uh, uh, that's only natural enough in a in a strong tight unit, so uh, um, it's just the way it goes. How have you um, approached the bye? Chris, you've obviously started 0-2 and you've had this 10 or, 10 or 12 days to prepare for this game, or what have you identified in the, in the past week or so? Uh, well, you, I suppose in a general sense we've tried to like narrow our focus. I feel like it's been a little bit too broad, and if I can give you a, a cricket analogy, um, when Steve Smith goes into the bat, um, I'm tipping he's not thinking about getting 100. I'm tipping he's thinking about playing every ball on its merits and, and working his way there. And I feel like for us that um, you know, we've played some exceptionally good football over the first two weeks. It's not like we've just been bad all the time. It's, uh, there's been some great stuff, but there's been some poor stuff. And we're just uh, you know, striving for that consistency and looking to sort of implement our process over and over and over again, which has been a little bit lacking. Oh, well, there's a few options for us. Um, you know, Dara Joyce could come in and play defence. Obviously, Jack Payne played reserves last week. Uh, we've, we've got a few options open to us. Jackson Pryor's another one, so uh, uh, we don't have to put our team in tonight. So we, and we didn't find all this out until just now, so we've got a little bit of work to do on what our lineup will look like. Chris, how, how did the conciliation talks go yesterday? I think it's the process of the world. Yeah, it's... Um, Conciliation continues today, um, and uh, you know we've we all of us that have participated have agreed to to keep um, everything pretty much in house. So uh, um, if there is a point in time where I can talk about it, I will. But for now, I've just got to let it be and let the, let the process work. Um, so I hope you can respect that. But that's just where it's all at, at the moment. Is there's confidential, confidentiality around it, and that's what's required to get honesty. So um, um, that's where it's at. That's right. How has it affected your lead-up yourself coming into this game tomorrow? Uh, my lead-up, oh, other than um, sort of heading off out of the club on Monday afternoon and not coming back to last night, so I missed training and some meetings yesterday. But We've had a fairly long time to prepare for this game, so I don't feel like anything's suffered. And the, you know, I've got such a good group of assistant coaches; it's not. I'm not worried at all about not being here. It's probably freshened the place up, if anything. How have you compartmentalised for such a, a big, um, I guess, important part of your life dealing with this, the, the mediation, and then coming back and trying to concentrate on the, on the game? How have you managed to compartmentalise well, those things? Well, I've been doing it for a long time. It's been about 18 months. So it's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm well practiced. Um, I, 
just focus on what needs to be focused on at any given time, and that I don't need to, I get on to the other, the other things. So uh, you know, it hasn't been easy at times, but um, that's that's the way I've done it. I've had great support from the club, great support from my family. My wife has been brilliant. Um, so you, you need all that, because um, there, there have been times when it's been yeah, pretty tough. So um, I'm only human. So uh, um, yeah, that's sort of where, where that's at. Can't say much. Do you personally feel better after yesterday? Oh, I'd rather not talk about that if that's okay. Um, I appreciate you asking. No, okay. Waking up today, the, there's um, a talk about the drug scandal in the AFL um, with players being tested before they get tested on game day. What was your take on that? Um, I, I probably would rather refrain from commenting because, to be honest with you, I've been so busy the last 24 hours. I, like the boys just mentioned that to me now, so I haven't had a chance to formulate uh, any thoughts on it. Um, and it's something I think I need to think about and, and understand it. So I'm, I'm hearing it from the, pretty much the first time a couple of minutes ago from Brownie. So uh, um, I'll, I'll leave that to people that have thought a little bit more about it than I have, if that's okay. Just back on Collingwood, Chris, they've obviously been sort of in the external spotlight the last few days. They're, had a slower start than you guys. What, what, what do you expect from them tomorrow night? Do you think that the external noise plays any factor in that team's performance at all? No, I think it's going to be a fierce contest. <laughs> Two pretty desperate teams who played off in the grand final thriller last year. So, uh, um, you know, we're, we're looking forward to embracing that contest, and, and I'm sure they are. So, uh, uh, nothing less than our best. Um, will be required tomorrow night, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll be talking about the same things. How much does this uh, weather we're having at the moment? Yeah, oh, well, it's affected training, but um, I think the forecast is better tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's meant to be 28 and dry, so the gather dries out pretty quick, so the, if it's like that tomorrow, it'll be a dry weather game. If it's wet, it's wet, you just got to adapt to the conditions. Chris, you know you're talking before about the Steve Smith stuff, playing his ball, rather looking ahead. You don't interpret that you guys not looking ahead to what he did uh, last year, just taking like each game, oh, or the, even each quarter. And like the, the, and the, well, it's, it's all of those things you mentioned. I mean, probably, you know, it's, it's probably human nature when you lose a grand final by not much that you, sometimes all you can think about is getting back there and trying to make up for it. Um, and then, our players aren't, ill-disciplined or poor human beings for, for, for thinking that way, they just, it's natural. So, um, you know, <laughs> we've had a bit of a wake-up call the last couple of weeks, so we, we, we're pretty much, I'll be amazed if we're not back in the moment tomorrow. Um, as I say, whether that'll be good enough for us to win, who knows, there's two good teams playing for each other, sort of in the same position, so it's probably the same conversation they're having at Collingwood this week, so it'll be, be interesting to see how it all goes.